Alrighty, hey guys, so today I was lucky enough to receive a beta key for Fallout 76. This is the final day of the beta, so I thought I'd check it out and run through the start of the game. It's very similar to Fallout 4 and the other Fallout games, as in you start in a vault and uh, you, it's reclamation day and it's time Mr. to leave. Hello. What the fuck? Oh, finally. He knew my name. <laughs> He called me by my name. That that is like the first time I think I've ever seen that in a game where they just like instantly knew my name. That was that was pretty creepy. Um, but uh, anyways, it's reclamation day. We have to go out to the surface. There's a few stations, basically some starter kit supplies. Here is some building supplies. Let's go up to the top here. And we're going to pick up our camp. Apparently, camp. this is like a portable camp where you can Survival drop anywhere. Unrebuilding. And then you can build resources. So and uh, I think you can build a little house for yourself. And then over here I is some accessories, some perk cards. So every time you level up, I think you earn a perk card. Which has various different, um, different stats and so forth. So I think we're going to go... What is perception? Bats now target limbs, focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and take that one. I want to focus on using weapons if at all possible. And then we have to equip this. Looks like you can only equip a certain amount of cards or maybe just one card per per skill. I'm not entirely sure about that one. Let's go ahead and leave. And then we're going to leave the vault and enter the amazing new world. Honestly, don't know a whole lot about Fallout 76. I really haven't been paying too much attention to it. And here we go. Okay, <laughs> I was kind of wondering. I took <laughs> at the beginning of the game, you choose your character, and then you take a like a snapshot, and I just give my character a retarded face, and uh, it looks pretty funny, at least in my opinion. But here we are. Forest. Oh, I thought it was daytime. Now it's nighttime. And there's already some gunshots, so I'm sort of wondering if there's other players. Maybe there is another player in this, uh, I guess you'd call it a server? I'm not entirely sure, though. Right, there's gunshots going on. What is happening over there? I might go over there in a second. So this is where you pick up the starter quest. Sir. I found this holotape on the overseer's terminal. Gave a little listen. Seems you should meet her at her camp, just down the road. So we have to meet the overseer at the camp. Before I do that, I just want to go this way a little bit and see what in the world is happening. I'm just hearing a bunch of gunshots. There's another freaking player! So it looks like he's like grinding and trying to level up. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone because I'm pretty sure there's PvP in the game. I could follow him around probably and do some exploring, but um, we have a quest that we need to do. Uh, let's go ahead and open this and then we're going to get the hollow tape that we just picked up. There we go. Overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Oh, Truth is, yes. I need your help. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But right. it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. 
My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Alright, so from what I heard from the hollow log, or is that what it's called? I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, the hollow tape. The overseer was saying that there's three nuclear silos that are currently active that need to be shut down before, I guess, someone uses them. But the world is certainly more lively than previous Fallout games. It's not just like, like a blank wasteland. There's actually trees, and uh, it seems like it's fall, which is sort of interesting because it's currently fall. It's uh, like November. The trees are changing. But as it stands, I really don't think there's any like actual characters in the game. You're supposed to like team up with your friends and stuff. This guy's level five. I think I'll be able to take him down. Must chop wood forever. Transferring excess wood inventory. What? I don't know if you uh, if you caught that, but he's like must chop wood forever. Uh, but it looks like he had an axe. Maybe if you follow him around, maybe you can pick up his uh, his wood. You could probably just like go into his inventory. It's kind of cool. But yep, um, let's uh, open and use the aid. It's been a long time since I played Fallout, and when I used to play, I used the controller. I'm using. Like keyboard and mouse now, so I have to like relearn the controls. Um, looks like there is, yeah, let's drink the water. There is some new survival elements in the bottom right corner. You can see that there's hunger and thirst. So you have to watch out for that. Let's go ahead and explore this house. It's, it's like daytime now. The game looks so much better in the daytime. Ooh, there, is that an enemy? All right, so there's the VAT system. What the heck? Petrified corpse. Oh, I'm just getting radiation now. Is there? Scorched? Oh, there is enemies up here. All right, I'm gonna try to take these guys out. The VAT system in Fallout 76 is a little bit different because everything's real time. There's no pausing. In previous Fallout games, you would pause the game. So in this game, I'll kind of show you with a melee weapon what it looks like. And that's that's the best system. Like it, it's very just odd to me because um, it just happens like instantly once you click. At least from what I've seen. But I got a weapon. We'll try the bat system with the weapon. And how do I favorite? Can I favorite both of these? All right, so if I favorite a weapon, sorry if this is annoying, trying to learn the controls. I'm just seeing, oh wait, okay, there's my favorite, so I can switch between them faster. Okay, got it. So is there any more enemies? There it is, okay. There's a couple enemies, I think there's just one in there. So I have a 10% chance. Can I, wait. Can I not target part, mouse wheel? All right, there we go. See, I, I don't really understand the whole mess. It's a little bit strange. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I had to be doing it right, because there's no other button, and I was losing AP for doing it. Oh, there's two guys up here. Uh-oh. Where's he going? Oh. 
I don't know. I, I really am not understanding the gas system. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I don't want to lose all my health all at once. Um, I do think that you are supposed to team up with other players. Like, the game definitely seems more challenging. I played a little bit earlier as well, and I died quite a few times, so I'm being a little bit cautious this time around. Um, but I do think you're supposed to team up with, like, up to four players and go out together looking for loot and stuff. And I don't think I've mentioned this before, but you may notice that I'm like super zoomed in. You can do third person, but I don't think there's any field of view options. I looked through all the options and I could not find the field of view. And I really am like annoyed by that because there's like no um, like peripheral vision whenever you're locked in at like a console like 60 FOV. Um, usually I play at like 90 or above, like widescreen. It's kind of annoying. It's sort of like a box. I guess I can play third person. So here's the overseer place, and here's another player. You can invite them to the team, or you can trade, and I believe I can hit him, but if I do that, I'm scared he's gonna kick my butt. <laughs> so I'm supposed to, let's see, go over here. Got the Overseer's log. Overseer South log. Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but. Mutated animals? Haywire bots? No people. We have to be ready to rebuild it. What I can confirm is hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer. Signing off. Alright, so I got another quest, craft a weapon, and then find an overseer in Flatwoods. I think I used up too many resources to build a weapon, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess we'll eat this. I'll regain my health. So, so yeah, it's it's basically, um, wait, we can scrap items? Ooh. Oh, this one has way more damage than the one I was using. Um, Let's scrap this. Scrap this. Scrap this. And then... Alright, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed here. Let's try to craft a weapon now. Do I have like a birthday party hat? <laughs> Pipe weapons, throwing weapons, um, so I don't have any to do, I need to find some leather to make a, a board, where I can find the gear, rubber, oil, I need to find more resources before I can build a weapon, and uh, another thing I wanted to do real quick is I wanted to go ahead and hotkey the pipe revolver, so then I can press F. Switch to it. There's also various emotes that you can do to other people. Kind of, kind of silly. But definitely seems like more of a social experience. This is the type of game I would want to play with a friend. I would not want to really play this alone. Um, just because there's no like, there's not really a story to it. There's no people. There's no like life to the world. It's just enemies and robots, as far as I can tell. 
but I guess your friends are supposed to be the, um, the, the ones that bring life. Or just meeting other people randomly in the world. I, I do lo love the graphics, though. The graphics look great. And uh, it definitely seems to be like more of a challenging game. Um, the enemies are a little bit tougher. And um, there's different like categories of enemies. Like there's certain areas where enemies are way, way higher level. Uh-oh. What the heck's going on? What's going on? Oh. Ouch. That was weird. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to buy this game or not. It feels like a downgraded version of Fallout 4. And that might just be my, like, opinion of the game so far. Maybe it gets better later on. But you can just tell, like, the graphics have very similar graphics to Fallout 4. Um, and besides that, it just seems too similar to want to pay another $60. But I don't know, if I can get some friends to play with, I might pick it up. What is this? Government A drop. Got some throwing knives. It's kind of cool. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to hotkey every single thing. Maybe, maybe not. I think I can... Can I just switch? Oh, I can press 1, 2, 3, and 4 maybe. Can I use the... I can't. Alright. But I can't do three. I forgot what it said in the top left corner. I said hold something. Why can't I switch to it? Oh, maybe it's a grenade? So maybe the grenade you have to use a different weapon. I'm, I'm not familiar with the keyboard controls. And I missed the uh, tooltip in the top left corner, which kind of sucks. It's probably just a different button to throw grenades. wonder what the button is. Maybe I should look it up. And I just use a stim pack on accident? Definitely seems like it's better to play with a controller. I think it was more designed to be played with uh, a controller. So we reach the next area, which is some sort of church. And get some Overseer's more lost. stuff. Town of Flatwoods. My god. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by I wonder if you can even fight people well, in the town. to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice, angry, tortured. Pacifist is enabled. You are not doing damage to other players. Okay. On what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected, and we expected a lot. Hey, trading post supplies. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. I wonder if you can go up there. The bridge is so far up in the air. Alright, so it's telling me that I need to register as a volunteer over this area. So I'll go over here real quick. Self-registration. All right, quest completed. Go ahead and exit. So we completed that quest. So it seems like the quest lines in this game, at least starting out, you get like, you do the quest and you get like a little bit of loot. And then you listen to like a holotape. 
And we just got a bunch of item rewards for doing that. Uh, when you die, by the way, you have to come back to where you died at to collect your stuff. So you do lose stuff when you die. Alright, so... Hmm. It's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to end this video here, though. The world seems to be pretty freaking massive. Um, I mean, I started up here at the vault, and I went down here. But as you can see, the map goes in every direction. And it seems like it would take a considerable amount of time to explore the entire world. And it does look like... Oh, I got another quest. Locate Keisha McDermott. Is it this way? I don't know what that signal is. It's like something in here. Hold on. Four, three, two, one. Here. Search, search for her location in the system. Required. What system? Is this a system? Responders database. Login. Test. Print newsletter. Class. Patient information. Kesha McDermott. No, none of those people are here. Oh, I think there's an optional objective here to search for something in the system. I have no idea where I'm going. This doesn't even seem to be the right way. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here real quick. More stuff. I guess you can go all the way up to the top. More stuff. Hi. Dasa asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. She asked everybody, so I said okay. My name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. Oh, maybe I just, just wanted to say thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and the cows with two heads and all of it. I was bad. Just bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um. I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and put <laughs> I don't know what I'm in the rat to. cage water bottles at the pet store. And, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. I love the graphics, though. The game looks so much more vibrant than Fallout 4. But what I said earlier, I think I'm going to end the video here because it's going to be extremely long if I keep playing. Maybe I can do one more little encounter. Robots versus... Who is that? Are these enemies? Oh, they're enemies. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we hold up in a house in the town for a while. After a bit, I was able to soften the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods, it was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents She's for right. everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. Okay, so it looks like there's like dungeons you can enter. Their water sources were Sounds like there's someone else in there. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, so I'll rules, a testing kit to monitor the contamination, and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. 
Alright, so I think this is a good stopping point. You can kind of get a sense of what Fallout 76 is all about. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about Fallout in the uh, comment section below. Are you going to pick up Fallout 76? And if so, uh, do you have people to play with? Because um, I really feel like you need people to play with to make this game enjoyable. But thanks for watching and have a nice day.